Hi everybody, welcome back. My name's Claire. I'm going to do an explosive Dutch pour. Um, explosive Dutch pours are just lots of colour on the canvas, drizzled on quite randomly and then blown out from the centre so it looks a bit like an explosion. Um, but there's going to be a difference. So I was editing a video the other day um, and I had... I was doing a variegated base, so a base with different colours on, and I drizzled the paint on in a in a kind of flower shape in sort of swirls. And then I noticed that when I blew over the top of that, it left obviously that swirly shape. So I'm going to do an explosive Dutch pour, but I'm going to put a, I'm going to try and lay the pattern, the colour down in a slight pattern in a sort of maybe flowery shape, just to see what effects it does, what effects it has. Um, so let me show you the colours I'm using. So here are my colours. Around the very edge, I'm going to use some De La Rani Sap Green and some Pebio Iridescent Green Yellow. I've got some Copper. I've got some Pebio Studio Acrylics Iridescent Blue Violet, I think it is. Um, th this is an Amsterdam one. I think it might be Manganese Blue. And this beautiful colour is just some leftover paint. This was paint that was scraped from my work surface after I did a pour. And it's this wonderful, sort of you can see, sparkly turquoise colour. So they're all mixed to my Dutch pour consistency, which is mixed with flood flow troll and water. And I'll put the uh, the recipe in the description of the video. I'm using a 30 centimetre canvas. Um, it's on a turntable at the moment. I've got a piece of paper here, which is why it's bulging a bit, um, on a board on a Kurt Kate turntable. I'm not going to spin it out, but when I blow it out, it just helps if I can turn this. I just find it easier than having to reposition myself. I just reposition the canvas. I think that, that just works works better for me. Um, I also found some other colours. I'm also going to be using some white. Um, that's just Amsterdam white. And then this purple is another scraped colour. So it's just a combination of colours from a previous painting. Um, so... They just look really pretty together. And then the greens. So I think if I put a bit of white down for a maybe maybe for a base, shall I? Let's just have a think. I could do, do you know what? I think I'm gonna do just a white base. Well, as far let's put this down and see how far this goes. This is all the white I've got mixed at the moment something in it there. Right, I'm going to blow that out, I think. Might not reach the edge, but that doesn't matter. Right, so I'm going to put some greens down at the edges. So I'm going to put some of the purple down.
Right, I have no idea what this will look like when it's blown out. So, in fact, I might just go for one more of the turquoise around the edge. So all I'm going to do is blow with the hairdryer from the centre outwards in all directions. I love it. I love it. I love that green around the edge. You don't really have the petal effect. I can still see where that purple was. I really, really like it. It's so abstract, but I love the fact that you've got the green and then you've got the other colours. I might need to think a bit more carefully next time about my centre. I like this centre but I might need to introduce a little bit more variation in the centre. This is so pretty. Right, I'm just going to touch up the edges because they're not quite covered. Um, and then I will get you in for a close up. I absolutely love the variation in these colours. Isn't it amazing? You've got these, you've got very much the copper and the turquoise in the middle, then you've got the kind of blue and purple, and then you've got the green. So it it really does sort of drift outwards. Um, you can't really see the petals as such. Um, or maybe you can, but I don't think it really matters. Um, I think it would work better actually on a much larger canvas. Um, the iridescent green yellow, the pebio colour there, is just creating lots of beautiful cells. The trick with this type of painting is definitely to blow on it once. If I miss a bit or not happy and I do it again, it's just going to muddy. So you've got such bold colours, look, copper, purple and green together there. You know, if they mix and they muddy, it's just going to make brown, a big brown mess. Whereas at the moment, because I've blown over them just the once, you've got purple and green next to each other with no muddying at all. There's a lot of iridescence in this. That copper is, is sparkling. That turquoise is sparkling. I am really, really happy. I'll be back when it's dry. So it's now dry and I am so pleased with it. Um, I just love the colours. I love that turquoise, bronze and purple. And then it, how it just fades out into the greens. So you've got such contrast in colours, really, between the centre and the outside. But it blends. Um, the cells that are coming through are beautiful. So it's the iridescent green that's popping through. Um, I love those little uh, flecks of white, those little streaks of white going through. Um, the bronze, can you just see how bright it is? If I move it look how iridescent that bronze is i mean copper sorry if i've ever said bronze i meant copper look how bright it is and it's i think it's a beautiful combination the copper next to that turquoise um yeah the details are just gorgeous um i just love all these lines there's they really haven't muddied they just they they're solid colors purple green copper but they haven't muddied so I'm so happy with this and I'm so inspired by this. Um, I want to go bigger. Um, I think the results will be much better on a larger canvas. On a smaller canvas, my other idea, instead of using a hairdryer, um, is to actually blow using my breath and blow out in, in all directions. So exactly the same, but using my breath instead of a hairdryer. So I've got lots of ideas. I'm so inspired by this. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Please do hit the thumbs up button if you like it. Um, do subscribe to my channel. Um, thank you so much for watching. Bye.